Hi everybody. This video is about how to find the length of an arc or the area of a sector. So in this problem we're asked to find the length of the arc that's in bold. So this arc is made with a 225 degree angle. Uh, this is actually really easy to do. Um, here's a reminder on the screen that the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 times pi times r. So let's see if we can figure this out. We want the arc length. So that's the length that's in bold. Not the entire circle, but it's a fraction of the circle. It's a percentage of the entire circumference. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with 2 times pi times 11. That's the radius of this circle. So if I were to stop here, we're well obviously incorrect because 2 times pi times 11, that's the entire circumference. Now I don't want the entire circumference, I just want this arc. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a percentage of the entire uh, circumference. And the percentage is given by this angle. So we want, if you think about a percentage as a part over a whole, we want 225 degrees out of 360 degrees, which makes an entire circle. So the logic here, now let me just outline it really quickly, is we take the entire circumference and you're multiplying by a percentage. That's it. Now, um, you can type this into a calculator, 2 times pi times 11 times 225 over 360. Uh, you'll get an exact answer with our Inspire calculators. If you press Control Enter, you'll get a decimal answer. Um, but that's how you deal with arc length. I'm not going to bring up the calculator just to type this in. Uh, so that's how you find arc length. Let's do uh, sector area. So here we want to find the area of uh, a sector. And again, there's just a little reminder. This is the key to getting this correct. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So we want the area of this sector that's in bold. So we're looking for, uh, I'm not going to shade it in dark, but we want, uh, we want this entire area. And we're going to use the same logic as the previous question. So to find the area of that uh, sector, we're going to take the area of the entire circle, which is pi times 11 squared. So this is the, the area of the entire circle. And I multiply by what percentage of the circle uh, that I want the area of. So I multiply by 165 over 360. So type this into a calculator. If you press Enter, you'll have an exact answer in terms of pi. If you press Control Enter, um, you'll have a decimal answer. So finding arc length and finding sector area is really easy as long as you remember your formulas for circumference and area and you remember this little trick of multiplying by a percentage. Anyway, hope this video helped. 